the morning of May 11, soldiers from the 1st Battalion, 38th Infantry Regiment, headed out on a routine patrol in southern Afghanistan when their vehicle struck an improvised explosive device, or IED. PFC Steven Bergen recalls the vehicle rolling over and over. He doesn't remember everything that went on, but was able to maintain situational awareness and helped his fellow soldier get the medical attention he needed. Feel good that I'm alive. I'm glad I'm alive to receive it in person. You know? That award is the Purple Heart. The Purple Heart is awarded to members of the U.S. military who are wounded by an instrument of war in the hands of the enemy. On this day, these brave soldiers received their award from the Undersecretary of the Army, Dr. Joseph Westfall. I continue to be impressed with uh, the tremendous sophistication of our soldiers and yet their commitment and dedication. Dr. Westfall, along with the Vice Chief of Staff of the Army, General John Campbell, traveled to Afghanistan as part of their battlefield circulation and was humbled at the opportunity to honor these soldiers. Their willingness to make sacrifices in lifestyle, being away from their families, uh, being in a dangerous place. It's just a great feeling to, to know that my fellow Americans are such, a, such an honorable people. The sacrifice these and other soldiers continue to make is an enduring contribution to the mission in Afghanistan. Army Sergeant Vincent Pedigan, Kabul, Afghanistan.